So this is a hopefully short video, I tend to run my mouth, about my pool area. But what I want to show you first is this, uh, some things we've done since the, we moved into the house a couple years ago. Um, we've got, I built this home office, so this, I've got a whole series of things that I want to put together about that build. I built that office ground up. We put in the playset during the pandemic for the kids. Uh, we also had this path put in last year. Now that leads to the brick patio that you see over there. It comes back around here to a back patio. I'm also working with a new gimbal, so I don't exactly know how well I'm doing with it. So it leads to a back patio because we put in a pool. Now, I want to talk a little bit, mostly not about the pool. There's lots of videos about pool setup, lots of really good videos. It was not that hard. The harder part for me was, get this up here, Hannah. No, no, no. boom, what to do down here. So what you can see is I have actually gone with cattle pads. I found one other guy on YouTube that actually had used cattle pads and had really good results. And it's a more expensive option. It's $50 a pad. But there's a reason that I did it. As you can see here, I've got some wood framing kind of coming around here. Uh, I had to dig out the seven inch differential to get down to something kind of solid. Um, that job did not go super well. And I actually put down chat underneath this to provide some drainage. Um, that was left over from the patio job. And then this, the, the cattle pad was mostly because it's the quality of it. One, it's really durable. It's soft, it's comfortable on your feet. Uh, it does drain fairly well between the cracks here. Um, it's also, it's rubber, right? It's not going to go bad or, or anything like that. The reason was, though, that with sand, I was really concerned about sand being too soft. As you can see, maybe down here, you can see right, right behind me over my shoulder. It's not totally level with the first thing. That's a 4x4 frame, 18x18 18 18 for the pool um, that I just kind of used to hold stuff back and dig it out. I want to bring this up, but I was really concerned about putting in 2 or 3 inches of sand. I don't really want to do that. I don't want sand going in and out of my pool all the time either. Um, given the area and what we had to do to create the space for the pool, for me, cow pads made the most sense. Again, it was not cheap. It was about $50 a pad. I've got about 16 pads here. You do the math. Uh, but it creates a really nice place. I can walk around it. I've got my filters and stuff set up on the back side. Pretty standard sand filter setup. Nothing fancy there. Um, but what I do like about it is the foundation of the pool. I will say this. You can see the cracks maybe between the pads over here. You can see that crack right there. The thing about that is that if you don't have it perfectly square and lined up, the pool can settle into that and dirt will settle into those cracks and you can see that. I am a little bit concerned about what that might do to the liner, but I also have put a tarp underneath it specifically in case the pad was too sharp. I'll take it down this year because I hope to level this up more with more chat and get it up to the 4x4, that 4x4 level totally next year. Um, but I just want to say I, for the cost, it was going to be about $300, $350 for sand. It was about $700 to get the cattle pads. I saved myself all the labor of having to move that sand, melt that sand, not melt, melt sand at home, uh, level the sand, scrape the sand out, right, and then, and then deal with the sand underneath my pool and this whole area and sand in the pool. Like all the labor that I saved, the work of getting it delivered or having to go pick it up myself, to be totally worth the additional cost. Um, and these were easy to move with the sheetrock movers. I've got some grippers. I can't remember, gorilla grabbers or something. I can't remember. So easy to move with that. You pull them on a dolly. I just pull them to the backyard. Otherwise, it's like moving a dead body. So I assume, not that I've ever moved a dead body, mind you, I have no idea, I've just seen it in movies and it looks quite difficult. So for me, for the dollar, these are really a phenomenal option if you're looking for something to put in your pool. Now I can see there's going to be indentions, you can kind of see like over here, right there, right? You can kind of tell there's going to be an indention where the legs are, but this is the only thing I'm probably ever going to use this for. Worst comes to worst, if we take the pull down and don't want it, we have a nice surface to put something else on, maybe move the playset, put up another playset, or if we ever really want to, I can probably just sell them for at least half of what I paid down the road for somebody else to use for another application. So it, I don't think it has to be a total sunk cost down the road. Anyways, uh, cattle pads. I got mine $50 at uh, a piece at Tractor Supply with a $50 delivery fee. So $700 plus $50, $750. Bucks. It's made a big difference. I loved having it. I think it was one of the better choices with my pull setup.